welcome to another Friday Fighters episode of Living in Sin. We are your hosts. I'm Ariane. This is Ariane. I know this for a fact. And who are you? I'm John. <laughs> Just John. So Ariane, we have not opened a package on our little show in quite some time. And we've been eating. We've been eating from one end of Las Vegas to the other. And maybe it's time to kind of get back to the basics and open a package that everybody can enjoy, or at least us. <laughs> that we will definitely enjoy. That's right. So what do you have? Where did it come from? I'm too embarrassed to say where it came from. <laughs> say it, it. It is from Master Air Screw. What was that again? I didn't quite hear you. Master Air Screw. Um, <laughs> and what did it's, you? It's not what you think. <laughs> This is this is a family show. Um, Shall we yeah. just open it? Yeah, we're gonna show open everyone it. what we got. Uh, this is uh, as a hint. It has something to do with the drone. So uh, we've been waiting for this for quite some time. So now we're gonna go ahead and open it. So I lost the little knife. So I'm gonna have to just open this like savage style, okay? Savage style. Yeah. Okay. Girl. Ooh. Oh, that wasn't very hard. That was easy. <laughs> okay, so. This is the Master Air Screw Box, and what's inside of this are low noise, quick release propellers for our DJI Mavic Air. Uh, DJI? It is a DJI. I think I said it right this time. <laughs> I know before I'm like, DG, DG. We think that our drone is a little noisy. When we go to take off, it sounds like uh, it sounds like uh, the Air Force is taking off. It's so, not a ninja drone. No, it's not a ninja drone. No. So we decided crazy. to go ahead and invest in these. Now, these are all over Facebook. If you're if you're into drones and you're on Facebook or you're anywhere else, anywhere else you're going to see these advertised. And uh, it's made by Master Air Screw, and they is are it called. On the it's just one set. There's four. There's four in here because there's four propellers on our drone. Okay, how much did it cost? These cost, uh, we actually bought it over Easter and they had an Easter special where we got uh, four or five dollars off. So I want to say they were right around $20. Nice. Um, so these are, it's a premium pack of four. Master air screw. Boy. So. Stealth. Stealth. Low noise. Oh. Quick release propellers. I say we open them up and try it out. Nobody is going to want to watch me open this box. I think they will. All right, well, I don't have nails. I can't get this open and 50 other excuses that I can I make. I will open it. All right, you open it. Yes. So you told me that this was made in the United States? It is. These are made in the United States. They're not made in China. Look at that. Oh, you are so smart. It, oh, wow. Wow, actually, I'm kind of glad that you made me open these now. Well, I can't see. What is it? <laughs> it's actually, it is a Ooh. nice little case. It's just a soft case, like for your glasses, but that's oh. what the propellers come in. That's really nice. That is really nice. I am, I'm very impressed. And so then here are the quick release propellers. What does a quick release propeller do? Like. Is it like, do you have it, a button? It makes the drone fly. No. <laughs> no, I mean like, is it like mid-flight and it's going and then you push a button and they release some and no, then it falls down? No, 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 no. Just basically if you need to change them out, you don't have to use a screwdriver. Oh. You push down, you turn, they pop off. Oh, so, okay, well. And some of these are, they're very, very specific. So you have some that are clockwise and some that are counterclockwise and there's a little arrow on there that shows you which is which. Oh. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and first, let's show everyone how loud the drone is with the old blades and we'll put yes. the new blades on and we'll see if it changes at all. Sounds good, sounds okay. like a plan. All right, this is maybe just to go ahead and hold on to it just for a second. Do you want me to hold it? No. Oh, okay. No. So, um,
Okay, I think that's actually a, a fairly good test to hear you the noise that this makes. Um, the motors were at max power, and so that kind of gives you an idea of what it sounds like. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shut off the uh, controller. And I'm going to shut off the DJI Mavic Air. Okay. So now let's go ahead and we will change the blades. Okay. So first I think what I'm going to do is we'll just go ahead and do the, the rev test while it's sitting on the table right here, like we did before. So watch your hands. Okay. Definitely a different pitch. Yes. And the difference in pitch makes it sound softer. Okay. It's a lower pitch. It's a lower pitch. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it like this and then I'm going to tell it to take off, which it will struggle against me and put the... Okay, um, a lower whine, I think. I think it has a little lower uh, pitch of whine. It's still loud. It's, it's loud, it's very windy, but it's loud. I think, I think you're right. I think it has a lower pitch, which makes it sound or appear to be quieter. quieter. Yeah. So I, I did notice too, and maybe this is just me being nervous about holding on to it and, and maxing out the motors and such, which is something I wouldn't recommend that you do, um, especially inside, because uh, the, the drone is struggling against me mm -hmm. trying to get up, and you wouldn't want to do that for an extended period of time. No, and may I say, I think you're nuts, but okay. <laughs> So with that said, I think probably a good test is going to be outside, yes. to where we can hear it. And we can record the sound outside rather than just inside mm -hmm. because um, this is just me. It felt like these props are stronger. Okay. I had the same impression because I was simply watching, but I could tell with the previous props, the original props, the first time, yes, I could see the struggle. But with these, I could definitely see you were struggling more. They seemed stronger. Like they were, I don't know, they had more oomph to them. They did, and I think that that's probably maybe some of the strategy with this is the, the propellers, they're designed to provide a little more oomph at lower RPMs. Ah. So in that way, they don't have to spin as fast to maintain altitude, whereas mm. the props that come with the DJI, they, uh, they have to spin faster yes. to maintain the altitude, but they don't have as much uh, lift capability. Exactly. I mean, I could see it. Yeah. When you were when you're doing both tests, I yeah. could see it. Well, very cool. Well, let's uh, let's take it outside. We'll um, we'll do a couple tests with both both sets of blades. We'll go up. We'll go left. We'll go right. Just to kind of give you, the viewer, an opportunity to hear what it, the differences sound like outside, as compared to inside. Inside, exactly. I think it's about the same as the other ones at idle. Yes. It all sounds like they run a little bit lower RPM. I, I can't tell. Sounds a little bit lower at idle.
Wow, I will say that it sounds quieter when it's in the wind. out of the shot. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Come back over here. <laughs> okay. Playtime is over. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, that's not how it sounds at all. No, it's, it's a lot louder than that. Yes. And using both propellers, doing the, the test, I couldn't really tell the difference. I could tell a little bit of a difference. The stock propellers seemed to have a higher pitch and a whine, uh -huh. uh, especially in the wind. When it was up there in the wind, you could really tell. It was like, ah, ah, ah. not exactly like that. Um, but the, the aftermarket, um, Master air screw propellers, they seem to be almost like a little more powerful. And so therefore the, uh, the RPM of the motors weren't as high and so it didn't make that sound. Uh, but it was stronger? I felt it was stronger, but de definitely not stealthy. Neither, I, neither propeller was stealthy. No, you, you can't creep up on wildlife or spy on your kids in the backyard with this thing. You're going to hear it coming, uh, but... Uh, <laughs> At a minimum, you can change the pitch. And I think that maybe in the future, maybe we'll do a, like a battery test and yeah. see uh, if it can fly further and longer with the, uh, with the aftermarket blades as compared to the stock blades. I think that'd be a good test. Yeah, absolutely. So I recommend it. I recommend it, you know, if you're, if you're thinking about trying these blades out, it's not a huge investment to get the blades. It's about equivalent to the cost of just buying some DJI stock blades. Uh, so I, I think that they're a nice addition to your drone. So check them out. Yeah. Subscribe to our channel. You'll get the notifications when we have a new video. Yes. Thank you for watching. You keep watching. We'll keep living in sin. And flying the drone. Thank you very much. <laughs>